Welcome to Watermelon. Live TV is the realm of the unpredictable. No retakes, no edits, just pure unscripted reality. Here is a glimpse into the moments that remind us anything can happen when the cameras are rolling. Reporting on a rainy day by the roadside. What could possibly go wrong? But my houses, thousands have been built here over the- <laughs> this felon promised he was a changed man, vowing to never commit a crime again. Those girls, not, you know, I'm not after committing crimes now, you know, and I feel like I should be given a shot. Fast forward just 20 seconds, and here's what he did. San Diego Yacht and Boat Show. Good morning, everybody. I'm hanging out with my friend John. Fox 5 Morning News starts. Look over there. And it starts right now. Oh. <laughs> starts right now. <laughs> Sometimes honesty isn't the best policy, especially on live TV. So, I hope so. Can I ask you, if you won all the money, what would you do with it? A bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay, that's not good. Refugees with open arms, but there's some mixed reaction from students just ahead. <laughs> We're not live. <laughs> Everything is perfect in this scene. The boys' comedy timing, showing mixed reactions, the reporter's cool composure, and the following goofy giggle. Bottled the milk made it difficult for the small farmer to do so. So. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Sometimes, yeah. I, I can take a look at <laughs> Somebody is getting grounded after this interview. Yeah, my dad was an athlete, but now he's um pretty fat. <laughs> he um he used to eat like two liters of ice cream every single night, like the Murray salt caramel ones. And then he used to get really angry at mom because mom didn't always buy it for him. It's like he's gutting for photos. And it's really funny. Oh, no, he's flat. The news anchors gave the reporter an elf name during a holiday segment, but apparently she missed explaining whose name it was. We got Leslie's name too, did we not? Peach's Cookie Fingers. Peach's Cookie Finger, down in the parking okay, lot. What? <laughs> yeah, Is rough. that my stripper name? It's el elf, <laughs> Christmas elf. Oh! Christmas elf. <laughs> Peaches sticky fingers? Cookie fingers! <laughs> because Peaches sticky fingers is a better stripper name than elf name, is what I'm thinking. By the way, that reporter's name is Leslie Horton. She really enjoys cooking and sharing her culinary creations with colleagues. Oh, I'm telling you right work. now, Sorry. this did not work out. Um, so uh, it's artichoke. Too day. much, too much. That's <laughs> And when her colleagues pass, the guests get a taste. I don't think it's okay. supposed to look like that, ready? really. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, remember, I did what you sang to me the other day. Oh, Lord. Oh. Something tells me this announcement wasn't meant for the viewers. One more thing. I gotta pee, I gotta pee. You're on the air. No, Beautiful. it's horrible. Come on. No, 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 Just a typical podcast day in Australia. A large snake hanging from the roof and the host simply smiles and keeps going. Well, I don't have a name for it because snakes can't hear you anyway. <laughs> right. But, um... Ophthalmology. How hard can it really be to pronounce? Well, it turns out quite a bit. Oh, in the British Journal of Ophthalmology. Excuse me. Uh, do you know that one, Caitlin? Ophthalm ophthalmology. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that, folks. Ophthalmology. 
I bet the janitor felt relieved when these two decided to quit their attempt at sabering champagne. <laughs> now just kind of give a couple of swift motions. One. Hold it on an angle. And... Unbelievable! Another power display by your Atlanta Braves. And of course, we have a situation where we're going to get you downstairs now to hear from... One of the most challenging moments for a live host is pronouncing unfamiliar names. Sometimes they can be extremely tricky. Congratulations this morning to Rhonda. Rhonda suck it. Didn't, didn't catch that one in the pre-read. Uh, so Rhonda won a $250 gift card in our grocery giveaway. Reporting next to a dumpster was probably not the best idea to start with. And then a homeless man appeared in the frame. Dnie mi się chybi. Sabina Laurinova, Roman Zach, nebo Sandra Novakova. Specjalnie pozorność byste mieli wienować takie herećce Ewi. The reporter thought it was a good idea to interview the England swim team standing in a pool. It was not. I didn't see the step. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, let's give you the fact is, Kate, I did see you this morning uh, in the studio, and if you could just reveal what is under your blue jacket, I oh, think what? we have a right to see that you slept in your One Direction no, t-shirt. No, Don't go this far. <laughs> <laughs> it's a One Direction t-shirt. It's the yeah. first one with just four. I know. Underneath. You see, under this buttoned-up exterior, Ms. Reed, <laughs> there is a, there is a crazy guy. woman. The first rule of uncontrollable laughter is don't look at the other person. It's hilarious. <laughs> Todd's about to lose it. Oh, but seriously, what a sassy dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. why we can't show Todd pet stories. <laughs> This news anchor accidentally delivered the best Chewbacca impression you'll find on air. Oh, all goodness right. gracious. How you doing? I'm all right. What? I think. <laughs> <laughs> the anchor acts like a scarlet ibis landing on her head is a regular part of her day. What composure. For an introduction. Yes. Right. <laughs> We'll be right we'll back be with Jude. Next. California is taking an unusual approach to catch porn pirates red-handed. Porch pirates, yes. Oh, off, <laughs> pardon me. Porch pirates. Not porn me. pirates. Not, oh porch. my God, I'm out of here. Please just finish for me. I not sure what happened to the camera operator, but they definitely owe the presenter one for that save. This beautiful shot this afternoon, you can, wow! Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. So it's gonna be kinda cold today, temps in the 30s. By tonight, we should see some clearing skies, all right? You have a good one. <laughs> TV producers typically offer pretty women to deliver the weather forecast. Meanwhile, in Canada. <laughs> Oh no, no, no. Yeah. Even prime ministers aren't immune to everyday etiquette. Remember, always check if you're on someone's freshly treated lawn before starting a press conference. Can everyone get off the grass, please? Sure. Let's just move back from there. Come on. Sorry. Hey guys, I've just reseated that. Please, off the thing. Sorry, mate. Well, good. That's all good. Thanks. This time, it involves our intelligence community. Uh, Ken, what have you learned, sir? Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Even the most composed reporters can't help but laugh when an elephant's trunk gets a bit too friendly. And species, and provide a home. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says winter reporting quite like an impromptu snowball fight. To a snowball fight, you're not gonna get away with it, Tony. <laughs> but I'm sitting over to Lindsay in Boiling Spring. Today, we're live in Nashville. Gary Broad, get me busy this morning. <laughs> oh, got him! <laughs> we don't know him. See if I said. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> is he gonna, gonna do it again? Yeah, there it is. We're live. We're live on. We're live with Cron Four. All right, my friend. <laughs> hey, oh, nice. nice. Over the past. Snug. 
That's funny, but you can't do that. You get seen in... Okay, stay right there, okay? Today, as nearly five inches of snow have fallen in Lincoln and the Lancaster County area, much like... The Snug. Okay, for real. Ow! <laughs> Thanks for staying with us all the way to the end. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you in the next one.